Hello guys, welcome to my first tutorial in Maya. Today I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks I find useful. We're going to use this scene as an example. The first tip is when you want to work in a single object, like this star, but you don't have a lot of room to work, you can press Ctrl-1 and everything else is disappears. So you, now you can work here as you wish. And then when you're done, you can press Ctrl-1 again and everything else appears again. This also works with multiple selection, like so. Okay, so that was the first tip. Okay, so the second tip is when you want to work here on a face or something that requires you to be near the object and it starts to disappear, or the other way around, when you have large scenes and uh, the object starts to disappear in the space. This is because the um, clipping plane of the camera, you just need to adjust it. You click here in the camera to select the camera. You go to Attribute Editor and you can adjust here the near and the far clipping plane. So the near clip plane is an imaginary plane from the camera that adjusts when you start seeing things from the camera, like this. And the far clip plane is uh, how far you can see from the camera. So usually you increase this number and decrease this number. Um, and sometimes you can get artifacts like this in the model. And it's because this number is too low just need to adjust this value and it probably solves it. So my next tip is uh, when you want to select faces, multiple faces, I mean, instead of selecting one by one with shift pressed, you just need to press tab in your keyboard and you can paint the faces a lot easier and faster. You can also uh, press tab and unselect the faces you want. This also works with vertices and edges. So this brings me to my next tip, and that is if you want to extrude multiple faces that are together, Control E to extrude, that was not a tip, <laughs> but it can be. But you don't want the faces to be together. You don't want this block here extruded, you, you want the, the individual faces extruded. Uh, actually, you have this um, option box for the extrusion, and you just need to set it to off, keep faces together off, and now you have the faces separated and you can control them individually. And the next tip is if you want to redo an action, you just need to press G. And in this case, the last action was extrude. So it just extrudes again and then you can you can keep doing this forever with uh, other actions also. So the next tip is um, if you want to rotate something 90 degrees like this and there's not really an option here I think to rotate it exactly 90 degrees. Um, you can press J on your keyboard and now you, you have snappy rotation and you can snap rotate it 90 degrees. So the next one is to control the size of the, your manipulators and for that you just need to press minus and plus on your keyboard. This can be useful for more precise rotations, small values and, or in the scale. So the next one is uh, when you want to select vertices And you have to select a lot of them, like so. And maybe you need to add to your selection. And there's a lot of vertices to select individually. And instead of painting the vertices, like I told you with tab, you can uh, you can also add to selection with Control Shift, and you can. You can add to the selection multiple vertices 
and this doesn't select the ones that already selected. And you can do the opposite, take it off the selection with only control. Uh, and this doesn't uh, select the other vertices, it just removes from the selection. Okay, so the next one is uh, an issue sometimes. Sometimes you are watching a tutorial and there's menus uh, in the tutorial, but you don't have the, those menus. Uh, for example, uh, maybe MASH, BOSS, uh, Bifrost, and that is because uh, maybe the plugin is not uh, checked. So you just need to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and here's the list of all the plugins you have installed in Maya. And if you scroll down, there's the, the MASH plugin, for example. There's the MASH menu. And if you unload this, the menu won't appear. So you, you just double check if you have the, the plugins you're looking for checked here. Okay. So the next one is it's more for animators uh, but it can be useful for, in a lot of scenarios is to create references so references are um, instead of importing an object to your scene you just create a reference for that you just need to um, press ctrl r to import your reference you choose the location we're going to import a scene here and as you can see in the outliner, there's the reference. There it is. So you can still animate it. Um, this is useful for animators who don't want to break their rigs. And maybe, maybe when you have a team and uh, you need to start animating things in the scenario, but the scenario isn't complete, so you just create a reference. The other person can be working in the scene and it, uh, it just updates automatically in your scene. So I can show you this. So if we open this scene and we edit it, like we continue to work in this scene, so beautiful. We save it, and now we open our scene. So there it is. So this is also useful when you have um, a character maybe in multiple scenes and you already animated everything and you need to, the character to be changed for some reason and you you don't go out and animate everything again or edit the character in every scene. You just uh, edit the original file and the, in the other scenes, uh, there's the reference. Okay, so I think this is everything. Actually, I have another one. Uh, if you press Alt and B, you can change the background. This is useful to, to see the silhouette of your models or just the statics, you know, if you like it to be other color. Alt B. Okay, so that's it, and hope you liked it. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want, and see you next time.